Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited to tell you about the number one most attractive trait that a woman looks for in a man and how you can cultivate that trait in yourself. In a previous video, I explained how the most attractive quality in a man is confidence. Then I outlined some of the ways you could improve your confidence level. Go back and watch that video if you've forgotten the exercises I suggested. This number one trait I'm talking about today isn't confidence, but it does lead to becoming more confident. Let's go over the top eight most attractive traits in a long-term mate and for dramatic effect, I'll list them in reverse order of importance. They are number eight, dependability. Number seven, communication skills. Number six, moral values. Number five, physical attractiveness. Number four, kindness. Number three, honesty. Number two, humor. And the number one most attractive trait is intelligence. Besides confidence, I've also talked about a couple of the traits on this list. I focused on number three, honesty, and how you can be more honest with yourself and others. I've given you methods to improve number seven, communication skills, when I introduced the Attune Method and the Venus Talk, and I covered a little about number six, moral values, in my video on integrity. Let's talk about number one, intelligence. When attracting a woman, intelligence refers mainly to practical intelligence. That means you, like James Bond or MacGyver, demonstrate that you are effective at dealing with whatever comes your way throughout day-to-day -day life, as well as during an unusual or urgent situation. Practical intelligence includes how to read people and situations, how to gain trust and status in a group, and how to solve problems. These actions demonstrate social intelligence, emotional intelligence, verbal intelligence, and academic intelligence. Practical intelligence combines these skills in a successful way that causes a man to be liked by everyone who knows him. So if a man excels in practical intelligence, it stands to reason that he will also be confident. But how can you increase this desired trait in yourself? There are four specific and simple things that you can do to increase your intelligence. Number one, start with getting plenty of quality sleep, good nutrition, and exercise. A healthy man is at his best physically, mentally, and emotionally. Number two, be curious and interested in learning. Become an expert in at least one subject that you care about. For example, if you really understand plumbing, electrical, or HVAC systems, you will be able to understand other abstract processes based on a metaphorical connection. You could say that the ductwork in a building is like arteries in the body or traffic that flows into a marketing funnel. When you master one subject, you can more easily learn about others and relate to them. Number three, seek out jobs or situations where you can learn and stretch your abilities. Choose opportunities that can help you overcome your personal weaknesses, amplify your strengths, and broaden your outlook. And if you need to improve in people skills and persuasion, try working in sales for a while. Number four, spend time with intelligent people and read books, listen to podcasts, and watch television that inspires thought, expands your vocabulary, and gives you a new perspective. We tend to become like the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Also, if you read great books or watch intelligent television, that's something you can talk about with friends or potential dates. Personally, I would be more interested and impressed in a synopsis of a fascinating documentary or political news story than with a recounting of swamp people. Once you've begun to expand your intelligence, how do you show others that you're a smart guy without being annoying or seeming arrogant? 
When a woman evaluates a man as a potential mate, she notices what he does, the ways he copes with mental challenges and situations, the language he uses, and how he interacts with others. She watches how he moves. Is he graceful or clumsy? She listens to him, hoping he can speak with interest on a variety of topics and use a professional vocabulary. And she checks that he will maintain eye contact and behave with empathy toward others. Beyond that, the five best indicators of intelligence that a woman looks for include, number one, a sense of humor, knowing how to lighten the mood with a joke and how to make a woman laugh not only shows your social intelligence, but more people will be attracted to you because everyone enjoys smiling and laughing. Be sure to use empathy and avoid racist, misogynistic, or truly offensive jokes. If you wouldn't say it to your mother or father, keep it to yourself. Number two, conversation and storytelling. Practice introducing yourself with a clear, funny, engaging short story about where you're from, who you are, and where you're going. Have a few stories you can tell from your life that highlight exciting experiences or times when you learned a great lesson. Stories that are sure to engage people include a beginning, middle, and end with an objective of revealing the character of the storyteller. When speaking with others, match your level of vocabulary to your audience. When writing texts, emails, or social media posts, Edit for clarity, spelling, and grammar. Nothing ruins a good story like several misspelled or grammatically incorrect words. And that's why God gave a spell check. Number three, creativity. Intelligence and creativity are highly linked in the human brain. So having creative skills like playing an instrument, producing art, crafting jewelry or decorative objects, or creative writing is a signal of intelligence and attracts women. A creative hobby like painting, weaving, or playing the guitar is a wonderful way to reduce stress and show off your intelligence. Number four, teaching. Explaining the historical significance of something, how to do a particularly difficult task, or how something works can make you an authority figure to others, and women find this attractive. However, before you make the mistake of mansplaining, ask your audience how much they already know about the topic and then fill in the blanks. It can be offensive to a woman and embarrassing for you if you act the expert in a subject where she already knows more than you do. That leads us to number five. Keep it simple, then shut up. One of my favorite quotes is, better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. When the brightest people hear an unfamiliar word or concept in conversation, they usually have the confidence to ask what it means. Their attitude is, I don't know what that is, but I love to learn. Please tell me more. In other words, they listen more than they talk. Humility and curiosity are more attractive than a know-it-all who won't listen with an open mind and learn from others. Remember to show, don't tell. Just as those people who are busy creating an amazing life don't have time to criticize and troll others who are doing their best, smart people are too busy being smart to talk about how smart they are. There are all types of intelligence, but I believe the most important thing you can do is be a lifelong learner. When my husband and I were first married, I came to appreciate how much he knew about a variety of topics and that he could repair things around the house. Because he grew up on a family farm and took part in FFA in high school, he was well practiced in taking care of animals, driving large tractors and repairing vehicles, as well as leadership skills and knowing Robert's rules of order for running meetings. He continues to search YouTube videos to learn how to repair or put things together, like my desktop editing computer, and he loves to read in his spare time. This tells me that I can depend on him to find answers and solve problems throughout our lives, and that is an attractive trait in a man. Take a moment now and tell me what you want to learn more about in the comments below.
I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to do something to show your practical intelligence, please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And please take a moment now and subscribe. I'll be uploading a new video every Thursday, as well as occasional bonus videos. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. Joe, can we freshen this up? The softer 